Well, good morning, everyone. It's Thomas Montgomery. We get together with our distribution partners most weekday mornings, this time, 8 o'clock Central, to talk about strategies, tips, share success stories, and to support each of you. Today's topic, which should be shared here on my screen, is typically, or just basically, what now? So assuming that uh, most of you are either a state director and or a small business consultant, we want to make sure that we're crystal clear on what we need to do now. I will mention that we send onboarding information out after someone signs up as state director and or a small business consultant. So this is a bit of a higher level overview because you should have received your onboarding information, but, but maybe you didn't see it. Maybe you got caught in a filter or spam or what have you. So let's go ahead and go through the topic of what now. Just a bit of background. Through the U.S. Startup Grant, we're building a national team of consultants and state directors. So as the name kind of denotes, state directors are responsible for a given state and their primary role, as we've talked about on other trainings and as described more on the careers page, is to manage a team of consultants. So we have consultants who are out actually interfacing with the clients, conducting the analysis, and we'll talk a bit more about that in a moment, but they typically will report in to a state director. So of course, both the small business consultants and state directors receive free training and certification. On tomorrow's training, which would be what, May 17th, we're going to talk about the free lead program. So let's say that you need leads to be able to reach out to. We can provide you leads. If you're a state director, we can provide you leads for prospective consultants. And if you're a small business consultant, we can provide you leads to, uh, to participate. Free of charge, no cost. We'll talk about that on tomorrow's training. So again, the career page has a good overview of the two different roles. And frankly, it's more than an overview. If you go to the careers page under the small business consultant area, it, it has the literal process training. And that's really great. We're all about transparency. So if you're a state director and you're out looking for prospective consultants, you don't need to waste your time of bringing someone on only to realize that, that it's it's not they're not a good fit because they didn't know what they needed to do. We have the detailed training available for the world to see on the career page. Regardless of all of that, our point today is to talk about what happens once you've enrolled. So if you have enrolled as a small business consultant and or a state director, that's what we're talking about today. Now, uh, Bernard and I were emailing yesterday. It is important to understand you can be a small business consultant but not a state director. This is a leadership role. Not everyone wants to be a leader and, and paid overrides, but all of our state directors are also small business consultants. Otherwise, there'd be an inconsistency, right? Because the state director would be responsible for managing a team of consultants, but they're not actually walking the walk. They've not gone through the training. So sorry if that wasn't clear before. So you can certainly be a small business consultant and not a state director. But if you're going to be a state director, we do need you to, to walk the walk. Okay, so now let's talk about initial steps for each of the roles. We're going to start with the state director, and then we'll scroll down and we'll talk about the small business consultant initial steps. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to type those into the Q&A box, question and answer box here in Zoom. It's kind of like a chat box. So we need to always start with crystal clarity on what is it that we do? Well, if we're a state director, we recruit and lead a productive team of small business consultants to help small businesses. So once you enroll as a state director, we do send you an onboarding email. So if you are a current state director, and you haven't seen that onboarding email, there's a very, very, very high probability that we sent it, but maybe you just didn't see it. And so you might want to go to your email and search state director, for example. But I can tell you at, at the most essential element 
of the state director onboarding email is we would like to schedule a goal setting call with you. And this is the link that we use for scheduling a goal setting call. Pretty simple. Calendly.com forward slash IIMFL forward slash support. Not too difficult. So it's important, and, and, and make note, you know, state directors don't have some minimum production. They don't get in trouble if they don't have a certain amount of, of activity, but we're all in this together. State directors are financially successful if we have active and successful small business consultants. So we want to coordinate with you, and frankly, I'd love to have a weekly call with each of our state directors. And there's some conversation about getting all the state directors together in person periodically, but we'll we'll address that another time. So it's important to understand as a state director, you can start making money immediately. So, so literally get paid tomorrow because you have a choice both as a state director and or a small business consultant to either be 1099 or W-2. 1099 is next day wires. Now, technically what we're doing this morning is we send the wires to each of you that uh, generated income yesterday. We send it same day, it's called the same day ACH through JP Morgan Chase. And so you'll receive it today. We pay $25 to expedite that to you but we know that people like to be paid quickly and so that's what we're going to do is get you paid quickly now if you're w-2 we all get paid every friday benefit of being w-2 though of course are the benefits health dental life short-term disability long-term disability vision 100 percent employer in other words we pay for it for you and your family but just keeping it simple, let's assume everyone's starting at least initially as 1099. You should be getting paid tomorrow. So here we are at 8.07 a.m. Central on Tuesday, May 16th. Every one of you should be getting a check, a wire, specifically tomorrow on May 17th. If not, we, we need to get more active. All right, so let's go ahead and go through understanding that we need to add business consultants, small business consultants, because what did we say the role of the state director is? It's not to sell anything to anyone, but it's to recruit and lead a, lead a productive team of small business consultants to help small businesses. So if, if you are a state director and you have no small business consultants, I can predict what your income is going to be. It's going to be zero. Now, of course, if you just started, uh, I, I'm realistic, but we definitely need to build a team of small business consultants. So you can start adding small business consultants immediately and easily. Well, how do you do that? Again, the onboarding goes into more detail, but let's just summarize it. So you should have a free website that we've provided for you or, or a link to a replicated website. If you don't have that, then we have a problem because if you are a state director, you should have a free website, a link that we provided for you, as frankly, as, as well as our small business consultants. So on the career page of the free website we provided you, that's where you need to refer your small business consultant prospects to. And so from there, they can see an outline of the proposition, they can watch the, the training if they would like, and they can complete the form. Let's call it an inquiry form on that career page. And then when that inquiry form comes to us, then we're going to be sending them an Adobe packet to get them set up. And that's kind of it. Now, now we're not, not to suggest that we shouldn't work with and support and train them, but as far as getting consultants on, it's crazy simple right? We provide you a free website. On it is a career page. So you refer your prospects there. There's training there that describes it. Ask them to complete the inquiry form of the career page, and then we will send them the Adobe packet. Super simple. All right. And then for each new small business consultant, encourage them to follow the onboarding instructions because when we add new small business consultants 
We onboard them. We send them onboarding instructions via Adobe. And you, of course, have seen this too. Well, why have you seen it? Well, to be a state director, you have to also be a small business consultant so you understand the process. We addressed that a moment ago. So you should have received your onboarding instructions via Adobe. And so you know exactly what they get and what they should be doing. All right, so you're, it's up to you. You, you all are, are, are very talented individuals. And so uh, whether it be Adam or, or Alfred or, or Anel, and those are just the A's that are on the, the Zoom this morning. Each of you are successful and you know how to, to lead, how to manage. So I, I'm not going to suggest that, that we know how to lead or manage better than you do. But if I were you, I would encourage you to set goals with your small business consultants, because if you understand what they're trying to accomplish in that role, then you and I, all of us can make sure that we're helping them be successful. So let's say the small business consultant says, hey, you know, I'm just looking to earn an extra 2000 a week. That's all I need. I don't need a thousand a day. I just want to earn an extra 2000 a week, 8000 a month. Well, great. That's important for you to know. So if you have team members, you need to understand that's their why. Their why is they want to earn an extra 2000 a week, which means that they would need to do at least two assessments a week and two clients in a row a week. And so then we could develop a plan to make sure that they get their 2000 a week. Now, you have some people that want to earn more. They might say, I want to make $10,000 a week. Well, that's fine. So we're going to need to do 10 client assessments a week, not two, to, of course, for that math to work out. So it's up to you as a state director, but I would encourage you to have weekly goals, even with your small business consultants that are part-time or very part-time. Be an accountability partner, be a resource for them, because as they make money, you make money. If they're not making money, then you're not making overrides on their production. Any questions or feedback from anyone that's on the live Zoom regarding what we've covered so far on the state director? initial steps. And again, I realize some of you are state directors, some of you aren't. I'm not trying to persuade any of you to become one if you're not. It doesn't cost anything to be one, but we're just making sure we know what now if you're a state director, and then just a moment, we'll talk about what now if you're a small business consultant. So the, the bottom line for state directors is that your income is based upon two key variables. How many small business consultants do you have on your team and how productive are they? So what would a logical person do? They would try to add more small business consultants and we try to help them be more productive because then they're making money and, and you're making money. But as we talked about goal setting, you, you want to work with them. Again, let, let's take um, uh, Sonia, who's on, on live today. If Sonia is a small business consultant, and she's an example, like I mentioned ago, she just wants to make an extra 2000 a week. That's it. I'm not going to push Sonia to enroll more clients and make more money because that's not what she wants. She simply wants 2000 a week. So I want to make sure I do everything I can to help ensure that Sonia is making 2000 a week. Now, once we hit that goal, we could always evaluate with Sonia. Well, you know, if we just did one more deal a week, you could be at 3000 a week instead of 2000 But we, we don't want to push the consultants. We want to work with them based upon their income goals. We know the minimum is 2000 a week. So that we should not, should not, should not have any small business consultants contracted that want to earn less than 8000 a month because we don't want dabblers. So again, bottom line, your income is based upon those two key variables, how many consultants and the production. And so we need to start adding small business consultants immediately. Okay. All right. So uh, there is the initial steps for state directors. Now let's go look at it from the small business consultant role. Very similar approach. Uh, Jimmy just uh, chatted and, and he needs some help. So Jimmy, if you, if you need help, go ahead and email us and uh, we'll help you with your individual dilemma.
Okay, small business consultant initial steps. So what do we do? We start with knowing our role. What is it that we do as small business consultants? Well, we conduct a systematic assessment of small businesses to determine if they're capital ready. And you might say, whoa, whoa, Tom, that's too generic. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to go do. Well, of course, if you signed up as a small business consultant, we've sent you detailed training. If you want more information, even before you sign up, you can go to the careers page and see that. So here, my goal is not to replicate all the other resources that exist and onboarding material, but to give us a roadmap. So we need to know what small business consultants do. We conduct assessments and determine if the client's capital ready. There's only one of two outcomes, right? So if we're a small business consultant, we do the assessment, which is that six-step checklist. There's only one of two scenarios that come from it. There's not three different scenarios or four different scenarios. There's one of two. Either they are capital ready, and then we need to move them forward to funding. Do they have to pay anything up front? Absolutely not. Are they guaranteed at least $100,000 capital raise? Absolutely they are. It's in writing. Alternatively, if they are not capital ready, which again, you'll see in the overall training, but means that they have six yeses to the six questions. If they're not capital ready, not a problem. We don't turn them away then we plug them into the grant subsidized resources to help them become capital ready. And, and I'll talk about that a bit more here in a moment. So if you're a small business consultant, you need to be paid tomorrow. You should be receiving a wire from us tomorrow. Now you decide how much, minimum of a thousand. Uh, ideally it could be a couple of thousand, but, but literally, this isn't some pie in the sky of, oh, I got to go buy in. It, it costs me money to sign up as a state director or a small business consultant. No. When you enrolled as a state director and or as a small business consultant, we didn't ask you to pay anything. We're providing you free training and certification, which partially is, is what we're doing right now. So this is a real opportunity to start making money immediately. I think if you if you assess the marketplace, there's a lot of people that want or need extra income. And being a small business consultant, it's not MLM, not to say there's anything with that, but there, there's no, it's not MLM, it's not network marketing, it's certainly not a Ponzi scheme. There's no buy-in, right? You plug in, you get active, and you make money. All right, so speaking of that, you can start adding small business consultants when immediately. Is it hard? No, it's easy. And uh, I think that's a misprint. That that should have been start adding clients. Sorry, I think I copy and paste. Oh, that's the reason. I'm down here. I need to be down here. That's where I throw it off. Okay, so uh, going back, we can start making money immediately. With a simple process and available training, you can start conducting assessments. That's where I should have been on your very first day as a small business consultant. One of the things that we learned is that we need to make keep things simple, free, simple, and easy, is, and fast is, are, are the four key terms that most people care about. So bottom line, if you are a small business consultant, it's easy and actually it's fun to be a small business consultant, and you don't sell anything to anyone. What do you do? You do two things. You evaluate and you advise. You evaluate and you advise. We'll train you how to evaluate. And again, the, the training on that process is available for the world to see, including yourself, on the career page. So as I mentioned before, there's only one of two scenarios that can come out of doing this evaluation, which is A, either they're ready. Remember, we just said they're either ready or they're not for funding. If they're ready, then what we do is we enroll them in the Access to Capital program. Well, how much does that cost up front? There's zero cost up front. Well, is, is it guaranteed? Heck yeah, it's guaranteed. There's a guaranteed 100,000 and most of these folks will get their first tranche of, of funding, which means first round of capital within a couple of days. Well, this isn't gonna work. Some of these people aren't capital ready. Well, that's great. If they're not capital ready, then we enroll them in the startup business and funding package. See, we said there's only two scenarios and here they are simply put. And again, you go back to the true, the full process training, 
that was in your onboarding or also and also located on the career page, you'll know more about the process. So I, I think what's key here is we don't need to make excuses. I, I talk to so many people and, and they just they make excuses why they're broke. They make excuses why they don't have enough money. And I could give you stories and I don't want to do that. But the bottom line is, I mean, this is a real ability to help people. You're not selling anything to anyone and, and you can easily make a thousand dollars a day with very little time invested. All right. So what I'm going to do is make this smaller and I need to start digging into the questions because uh, there's several questions that have come in. So I'll make this a bit smaller. But again, if you need individual assistance, uh, you can do one of two things. Either you can schedule a call on our Calendly link or just simply reach out to us down here. Okay, but let's get to your questions. Leads, free leads, Adam's asking about. So at tomorrow's training, tomorrow, which would be Wednesday, May 17th, is on the free lead program. So that is our training tomorrow. So please join us tomorrow, and Adam will get you and everyone up to speed with that. All right, uh, and, and some of you have already requested free leads, and so uh, we're already working with you individually. Okay, next, Anel asks, what if I just want to do funding for my business? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you don't have to, people don't, of, of course, people don't have to be consultants. People don't have to be state directors. There's no requirement that you enroll to be either of those. We have just straight out clients, right? Clients are those folks that are small business consultants, evaluate and advise and get them plugged in to the right resource. So, of course, you know, you can just be a client. But these morning trainings are for our distribution partners. So to no surprise, we talk about those topics. All right. Uh, Sanya is asking about paid next day. So we definitely pay daily. If you're 1099, if you're W-2, it's frankly paid weekly because we only run payroll on Fridays for the prior week. So you get paid faster as 1099. And the triggers for payment vary. Uh, if the individual's enrolling, enrolling in access to capital, then you're making 3% of the client's capital raise. So we know we're guaranteeing them 100000 so 3% of 100,000 is 3,000. So you would be getting 3,000 for each client that enrolls in access to capital. Our goal here is not really to train you too much into that, but, but the bottom line is on your free website we provided you, the home page is the access to capital page and you help them enroll right there. Free, simple, and easy. So uh, Sonia's right, you're gonna make 3,000 a pop for pe minimum of people that enroll in access to capital. However, I think what you'll find is that there's more people that are not yet capital ready. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means we've gone through the evaluation, the assessment, and they didn't have six yeses, right? That's separate training that you're probably familiar with, and if not, you should be. And so there's going to be probably more people that are not capital ready than those that are, and that's okay. You're going to get them into the startup business and funding package. For each person that enrolls in the startup and business funding package, that's what triggers your $1,000 payout. Okay, thank you, Sonia, for that. Uh, P is asking, do we work with nonprofits and for-profits? Absolutely, we work with both, so that's not a problem. Uh, P also asked about clients that have multiple businesses. Yep, that's perfectly fine. So we can enroll clients uh, in access to capital multiple times, or we can do startup businesses multiple times. So each business entity, each EIN needs to be a separate enrollment because it's, it's a different process, a different use of funds and so forth. But yes, it's perfectly fine to help clients with what we call multiple projects at a time. Now, I would argue that you would need to do an evaluation for each of those projects, each of those businesses, because you might have a, a prospective participant that some of their businesses are ready for funding based on the evaluation, and some of them may not be. 
but yes, you, you, you can certainly enroll multiple businesses. Each would be a separate enrollment. All right, next question. I have someone who asks if they go through the program and they're funded, will they be micromanaged by guaranteed funding on how the monies are spent? That's a great point. So when we applied for the grant, which we made reference to up here, when we applied for the grant, what we did is we promised that we could help any small business raise at least $100,000 guaranteed. And we do ask that the client have a consultation with us after their funding to, to plan out the uses of funds. But we don't control that, and we're just trying to help them be successful. So, you know, if they plan on getting 100000 and going and buying an RV and a boat and, and, and vacationing, I mean, ultimately, it's their choice, but, but that's not the intent. So, no, we don't micromanage them, but we are expected by the grant to consult with them after each round of funding to make recommendations of how that funding would be used but it's not a requirement. All right, so let's see what other questions we have. Once the funding is released, what are, are the requirements? Well, the, the client's gonna always receive funding directly. You know, we're not a, a middleman. We don't get a, a power of attorney to receive clients' monies instead of them getting so uh, they'll get the funding directly, most often wired directly into their account. So uh, there, there's no, no concern there. All right, let's see if there's any other questions I haven't answered. Some of these are overlapping. And again, yeah, Jimmy asked, he hadn't received his information. So Jimmy, you can reach us either here. Okay, so, so let's wrap it up. We'll summarize. We try to keep our training to 30 minutes or less. All right, so what, what did we cover today? We want to make sure that everyone is familiar with the initial steps once you become a state director, if applicable, and or a small business consultant, if applicable. So while both of these roles receive onboarding instructions from us, we wanted to summarize those here. We certainly wanted to bring to your attention, you should be paid tomorrow if you're a state director. You should be paid tomorrow if you're a small business consultant. And frankly, you should be paid every day. Now, we only send mon money Mondays through Fridays, so we don't send money on Saturdays or Sundays. But this is a wonderful opportunity to help individuals. If you're more of a, a leader mentality, you can be a state director. If instead you just want to work with the clients, you don't want to deal with, with managing and leading, then just simply be a, a small business consultant. Or frankly, as Anel mentioned earlier, she doesn't want to be either. And that's that's fine. If, if, if you're just wanting to focus on your business, then that's great. That, that's the, the, the client side. Our meetings that we have here in the mornings are about our distribution part. All right, any other questions, comments, concerns before we wrap it up? And again, Adam had asked about free leads. Yes, we're providing free leads. There's no strings attached. You don't have some reduction in comp. You want to pay for the leads, and we'll be going through that on tomorrow's train. So join us tomorrow, May 17th. All right, uh, let's see. Pia says she signed up one of her businesses and hasn't received a response yet. Okay, well, Pia, I'll follow up with you but certainly always feel free to contact us and we'll figure out uh, where the, the breakdown is. But I'll reach out to you here after the, the Zoom. All right, well, thanks everyone. We'll see you back tomorrow morning. Have a great day and bye-bye.